Here are four children's lunches that can be made with hot cook. Hello, everyone, I'm Misuzu. Thank you for watching Hakori Auchi Gohan today. Well, if you have a lot of holidays such as summer vacation, winter vacation, why don't you worry about the menu for lunch? Today, I would like to introduce four easy lunch menus for children that can be made using the hot cook of the automatic cooking pot. Please enjoy till the end. On this channel, I usually post recipes without sugar and mirin. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let's make it right away. Please enjoy till the end. The hot cook to use is not HW24G. With reference to Kazuo Katsuma's book, I put the inner pot on top of the scale and add 0.6% of the weight of all the ingredients in salt. I'm writing the recipe on my blog. The link is in the summary section. The table of contents and subtitles are also attached. The first is stir-fried udon. Try making it with the vegetables you have at home, cabbage, green bell peppers, and carrots this time, sliced pork belly. This can also be pork chops. Udon is used for boiled udon noodles, yaki udon noodles, and hot pot udon noodles. If not, normal boiled udon is fine. I didn't have it at this time, so I'm using ice udon. Cut the vegetables into thin strips. Cut the pork into easy to eat pieces and sprinkle with salt. Add sesame oil to the inner pot of the hot cook. Cabbage, carrots, peppers, pork, udon, dashi powder. This uses reduced salt kayanoya dashi. Dried bonito flakes and dashi granules are also good. Add 3.5% of the total weight of soy sauce. Set in hot cook. Use the mixing technique. Manual course. Stir fry. 2 minutes. Start. It will stop after 2 minutes after the inside warms up. It's done. Loosen and mix. It smells so good. Because it uses ice udon, it has a firm feeling. Serve on a plate and sprinkle with bonito flakes. In addition, it would be nice to have red pickle ginger and seaweed. Second, the bacon and corn omelette. Sausages, fish cake, etc. are also good instead of bacon. Drain the corn. You can also use raw corn. In that case, pre-boiling the corn is unnecessary. Cut the bacon into easy-to-eat pieces. Beat the eggs well and add salt. Add olive oil to hot cook inner pot. Spread the cheese on the bottom of the pot and use it as the base for the omelet. Pour in the egg mixture and add the corn and bacon. Don't use the mixing technique. Search by category. Sweets and others. Open omelet. Choose not to mix. Start. It will be soft when baked, so let it cool for a while. As the cheese cools, it will harden, making it easier to remove. Tilt the inner pot to allow the omelet to slide out. Voila! Please cut it to your favorite size. Depending on the model of the hot cook, you can put the egg in without beating it and mix it with the hot cook. This time, I introduced how to add it after beating the egg. Please add tomato ketchup if you like. The crunchy corn is sweet and delicious. Third, fried rice. Compared to fried rice that is stir-fried, the rice is less oily and the finish is closer to pilaf. 
you can make it with the vegetables you have at home. Onions, carrots, green bell peppers and sausage this time. You can also add grilled pork, bacon, fish cake, etc. instead. Cut the vegetables into cubes. Beat the eggs and cut the sausage. Cook the rice, or warm it up if using cold rice. This is our usual purple glutinous barley rice. Add sesame oil to the inner pot of the hot cook. And add the onions, carrots, and sausage. Cooked rice. Egg. Bell pepper. Dashi powder. This uses reduced salt kayanoya dashi. If not, you can do without the dashi powder. Soy sauce. Measure the weight up to this point. Salt is added at 0.5 to 0.6% of the total weight after subtracting the salt content of the soy sauce. Use a mixing technique. Manual course. Stir fry. 5 minutes. Start. Please adjust the heating time according to the ingredients. The result is like this. It has a donut shaped groove. Loosen and mix. The eggs are hardened at the bottom of the pot. So loosen them and mix. Let's serve it on a plate. As I mentioned at the beginning, the flavor is similar to that of cooked rice. It looks like fried rice. Fourth and last is cake sale. It takes a while. The color is also beautiful when you put plenty of various fillings in it. The ingredients this time are paprika, onions, sausage, cheese, and broccoli. Cut the ingredients into squares. Boil the broccoli and cut into small pieces. You can heat it in the microwave or boil it in a pan. You can also boil it in a hot cook. In that case, add 1 head of broccoli and 15 milliliters of water. Search by category. Boiled. Broccoli. Start. It will be ready in about 15 minutes. Take it out and cut it. Spread the oven sheet. I'm going to cut it into circles this time. You can lay it as it is without cutting the sheet. If you want to cut it into a circle, fold it twice into a triangle. Align the top of the triangle with the center of the inner pot. Mark on the side. Cut about 1 cm above the mark. Make 2 cuts. Let's stick the sheet with butter. Spread 10 grams of room temperature butter all over. By applying butter, the baked cake will be easy to remove. Since the sheet and the inner pot are tightly attached, the surface of the cake is not wrinkled. By applying butter, the baked color will be beautiful. You can also use vegetable oil instead of butter. Let's apply butter firmly from the top of the sheet. Put eggs in a large bowl, beat and add milk. Sift the flour. You can use a colander instead of a flour sieve. Widen the wrap. Add baking powder to cake flour and sift. I sifted twice, but once is fine. Using wraps like this makes it easier to move the powder. Then sift into the egg bowl. From a slightly higher position, sift the flour to include air. Cut and mix with a rubber spatula. Stop when half mixed. Add salt, grated cheese and all ingredients. Mix roughly to entangle the ingredients with the batter. Add room temperature butter. It is ready when there is no powdery part and the whole is mixed. Put it in the inner pot and smooth the surface of the dough. Tap it on a cloth to remove air from the dough. Let's bake. I downloaded the menu in advance this time. Please choose the P-Cake Sale course with menu number 238. 
ready in about 45 minutes. A measure of completion is whether or not there is elasticity when pressing the center of the dough with your finger. Alternatively, stick a bamboo skewer in and see if any sticky dough sticks to it. If you try to remove it while it is still hot, the cake may fall apart. Allow to cool slightly before removing. Slide it out onto a cutting board. The baked color looks like this. It burnt to a nice color. Please cut it to your favorite size. This section. It looks very delicious with a lot of ingredients. It is a fluffy and soft cake. The surface is fragrantly baked, crispy and has a good smell of butter. Please try it with your favorite ingredients. How was it? Today, I introduced 4 lunch menus made using hot cooks. You can also use a frying pan, oven, or pot to make it. But if you use hot cook, just put it in the pot and press the switch, so it's very useful. Also, although I didn't introduce it this time, I often make ketchup spaghetti, which is the official recipe. This is also perfect for children's lunch menu. Please spend a happy lunch time with your child. Thank you for watching the video to the end. The detailed recipe is written on the blog. I would be happy if you could come and see it. Please don't forget to like the video. And subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day, today. See you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for watching today as well. This channel has a recipe without sugar. Please don't forget to like the video. And subscribe to my channel. The recipe is also written on the blog. Please come and see it from the link in the summary column.